Hey Pod Squad, welcome back. This is Diksha. I'm a fourth year podiatric medical student. And with Yona, I created this series to talk to you guys all about how to excel on your externships. And if you haven't already, try to watch Yona's video, which is part one of the series. This is the second part of the series. Okay, now first things first, I wanted to say make sure that you prepare for your academics. By that, I mean you're going to be sent a lot of resources, whether that's articles or other pieces of information. Make sure you do whatever it takes to prepare. So whether that means annotating, reading, watching videos, whatever it takes. <laughs> Uh, and part of that will also be radiology rounds, where it could be radiology rounds, which could mean that you are asked to interpret whatever imaging you're given. And so try, try to do whatever can help you with that, which I will discuss in number two, which is use prepodiatrystudy.com. Pre so that will have different radiology cases and they will have the reading that comes along with it, as in how they would have read the makers, the creators of the site, how they would have properly read the imaging, okay? That's the kind of language, similar language that you have to begin, honestly begin, <laughs> taking over yourself and speaking in that fashion yourself. There's little scripts. We always ask for little scripts from people. And um, honestly, that has to be the best one we've, we've found yet. There's a lot lurking around if you can ask your upperclassmen, but if you want something quick, prepodiatrystudy.com. Check that out. Also, it has cases. Cases that are going to be on your interviews, or at least the subjects will be on the interviews. It's high yield subjects. And I'm telling you, those are the exact ones you're going to find. I mean, of course there's gonna be some anomalies, but if you, you're, you should ask for cases from your upperclassmen, but first and foremost, start using the ones on prepodiatrystudy.com. They go over the answers and you can start practicing how you would say it out loud. And it's actually better to do it with one other person. So try to find a buddy that you can trust will help you keep efficient, on track, and work with them, whether it's one or two people. And start that early. I mean, I'm talking August or September. I would start early with that and practice every weekend, okay? Uh, okay, number three, introduce yourself to everybody everybody at the clerkship, okay? And try maintaining a positive attitude throughout your externship experience. Understand that this is a blessing, first of all, that you were allowed to be at that program. And second, understand that so many people went through this before us, so many people went through this after us. So, uh, oh, and most importantly, a lot of these individuals, I mean, uh, sorry, <laughs> all of these programs are, Programs that you want to potentially have as your place of employment, am I right? So think about who would you want as your employee? You'd want someone who is happy to be there, right? So uh, of course there's going to be moments, it, it is a stressful time. It is a stressful time because you are technically interviewing, but take all of that emotion and save it until you get home, you know, and talk to your loved ones about it. This is not the place to do it. The externship is not the place to do it. Okay, now number four, don't skip experiences and always ask if anyone needs help if you yourself have any downtime. So, so I've heard so much about this from attendings and residents about how there are, res there are students out there who will, I mean, intentionally say, oh, oh okay, it's a toe amp? Well, I've seen a lot of toams. You know what? I'm going to skip that. I have family to go back to, so I'm just going to head out early. Please don't do that. If there are ever experiences that you are asked, you're blessed enough to be asked to partake in, do it. Okay? Do it, do it, do it. It's great learning experiences. It also shows them that 
you are a inquisitive learner and that you are always willing to try new things. Please don't skip experience. Oh, and also don't leave early. Don't get there late. I think we had already said that before, but this is all very important. Very important. Don't be that person. They will remember you. Everyone will remember you. And podiatry small, we all talk. Uh, we all meaning everyone in podiatry talks. If, um, you know, if someone's not doing these basic things, like showing up and not skipping. Um, okay, and also number five, don't be afraid to ask questions when there's things that you can't figure out yourself. So make sure you are first Google searching or you are looking through your resources. And then if you can't find something, don't be afraid to ask. There are a lot of things out there that, yes, you'll, you'll be maybe ashamed or you'll think, oh, I should have learned this before. Who cares? Who cares? Ask. That's, I think I've said this before in another video, but this bears, I mean, you really, I really want to repeat this. Please, 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 please just ask. It's important to get all those questions out now, okay? Um, or it doesn't matter when, <laughs> even if it's in the future and you realize, you know what? Even though I maybe should have known this as a second year, ask away, okay? This is always a learning experience. Yeah, it's it's uh, training medicine. It's practice, sorry, it's practicing medicine. <laughs> it's not mastering medicine. Um, okay, now number six, maintain professionalism and don't gossip. Teen professionalism is really just dress appropriately to, according to how they asked you. If they said white coat, wear a white coat. If they said badge, wear a badge. Get there at least 15, 30 minutes before. Um, and again, don't leave early. <laughs> don't gossip. There will be people who will provoke you. They will try to instigate these things. Just don't, don't do it, okay? I'm telling you. Um, it's, it's better to avoid all of that because, I mean, people will always talk behind people's backs, but this is not the time to do it. It's uh, especially on your part, you're an extern and it's not professional coming from you. Um, number seven, maintain a daily routine. And I'm saying that for your overall health, for the sake of you and also for the sake of not burning out, for the sake of being effective and efficient you will burn out quickly if you're not maintaining a daily routine. So, you know, basic things like, okay, if it makes you feel better to come home and maybe take one hour or two hours to freshen up, feel better, uh, watch a show, exercise, whatever it takes that you know will help you or go on a walk, all of that, do it. Um, talk to your friends. And then start to get into the habit of doing a little of whatever we're teaching you right now, try to do a little bit of that every night and try to get your sleep. Sleep is so important and you want to be performing at your best, be your sharpest. I messed up with that plenty of times. I didn't have a routine and that's why uh, I, I want you guys to do that. Well, there was a month, I think towards the end where I was finally on it with the sleep, the exercising, the uh, taking care of myself by talking to my family, all that and also finding the time to study. You can do all of it. And because I started to do it all, life was a lot easier. So try to start that early on. And with that, Pod Squad signing out. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Like this video, comment, and share. Share with everyone who needs it. And uh, be on the lookout for part three. All right, Pod Squad officially signing out.